Hello everyone, this is Miss Amy here um, to do another fun art project. Today we're going to create this delicious looking ice cream cone with colored pencils. So let's get your supplies together. Uh, we will need some drawing paper or you could use plain white paper. A pencil, an eraser, and some colored pencils. Um, I have quite a collection here of different colors, so those are what I'm using. And a pencil sharpener. Um, we often have to sharpen our colored pencils as we're using them. So let's get started today with this one. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a guideline first before we get started. So we're going to take the top of our paper, line it up with the bottom, and just gently push on this. We're not going to push hard because we don't want a hard crease. Just a really light crease across the middle of our paper. So we are going to start by drawing our ice cream and then we'll start coloring it in with our colored pencils. So you can barely see my guideline there. I'm going to keep the cone part underneath that guideline and the ice cream part on top of that guideline. So where that guideline is kind of in the middle, I'm just going to start here and draw a big V shape. And I'm going to kind of make the bottom a little rounded rather than, a, than an angle. Because um, those waffle cones have that little bit of roundedness to the bottom. All right, so that's what kind of ice cream cone that's going to be. One of those delicious waffle cones. Now we need to add our ice cream scoops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here on the side and I'm just going to make a curved bumpy line all the way across. And it doesn't matter if the bumps are longer or shorter. There we go. That's one. And then I'm going to make two curved lines, one on this side, connecting that, and one on this side. That's my first scoop. Now my second scoop, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make those curved, bumpy lines across the top of that and stop. And then I'm going to make my curved lines on each side. And then I'm going to finish this off by making a curved line on top. Now remember, it doesn't have to be perfectly shaped because ice cream scoops are not always perfectly shaped. All right, and then I'm going to add a circle on the top of here. That's going to be my cherry. So I'm just going to erase the inside of that. And then I'm going to make a little stem. Little curve, two curved parallel lines there. Erase that little line in there. There we go. We'll get some details put on that later. Now, if you prefer not to have a cherry on top, that's okay. Um, you can add whatever type of toppings you want for your ice cream. So if you make some curved lines maybe here, that can represent some maybe chocolate syrup you put on your ice cream. Or you can add sprinkles later. Totally up to you how you want to create your ice cream. All right. So, oh, also here on this side, I'd like to create a, a drip. So I'm just going to erase that little curved line I did there. And I'm just going to draw a big curved line going down to represent my drip of my ice cream. Because it's a hot day, so my ice cream might melt a little bit. Now for the waffle cone part, we want to make the waffle cone look like that it's rounded and not just flat on our paper. So we're going to start by making curved, gentle curved lines that go all the way across our cone. So I'm going to start at the bottom and just make a slightly curved line and then just move up a little bit, making slightly curved lines that go across my cone. I don't want to put them straight because that's going to make my cone look really flat, but waffle cones are actually rounded. So we want to make that appear rounded. So that's why we're doing gently curved lines across my cone. All right. Once you do that, you want to go the opposite direction with your curved lines, so you're crossing over. So I'm going to do it this way. Make the gently curved lines that go across this way. The opposite direction. 
And I'm starting, um, I'm actually starting my line. If you can see, I'm where my one line ended, that's where I'm starting my next line to go across. So where that line ended, I'm gonna curve it back this direction. Where this one ended, curve it back this direction. And all the way, and do a, just a gently curved line across my cone. And then this one, there we go. So now we have um, some squares on our cone. So we want to um, start by coloring in our cone and we're gonna use colored pencils. So I am going to um, start with a dark brown because I'm gonna do Actually, let's start with our light brown. I think that will be easier. So I'm going to use actually, yes, I'm going to use this light brown and I'm going to just color my whole cone in this light brown. So I'm going to use the side of my pencil and just gently, I'm not putting very, very much pressure on it, just lightly coloring in my cone here. Lightly coloring all of that cone. So we just want a light shade of brown on there. Now, if you only have one shade of brown, that's okay. You can just color real lightly and then you're gonna press heavier when we fill in the little spaces here. So once that's colored in, we're gonna take our dark brown and we're going to color inside each of these spaces. We're not gonna color, we're gonna leave a little bit of room around each corner. So we're filling in these little spaces so that there's a little border around each one, a really light colored border. Now your squares might look a little bit different than mine depending on how far apart. For example, in this one that I originally did, I did my lines a little uh, more at an angle and so they have a little, they're smaller squares. This one I did them at a different angle and that's why my squares look a little differently. But that is okay. I'll give you a different variety of cone. So you're gonna do that with each space. Is you're gonna press hard with your dark brown pencil so you get a nice dark uh, color and color in each of these shapes, but don't go all the way to the edge. You wanna have a light color around all of the edges. So this takes a little bit of time, but it will look really cool when you get done. What we're creating here is our little impressions inside each of these squares. If you look at a real waffle cone, they're like little 
squares and the inside of the squares are pushed in a little bit. That's kind of what we are trying to create here, making these a little darker so that it looks like it's farther in than the edges, giving it some texture in our picture. I'm almost finished here. All right. So now I'm going to actually take a gold and yellow color and I need to sharpen it a little bit here. And I'm going to do one more layer over the top of my cone just to give it, give it a little bit of warm color here. I'm just going to color gently, lightly. I'm not going to push hard over the entire top of my cone. And that's just going to give a little extra that golden color, that color of waffle cones. So, and I'm using the side of my lead just because it's a little bit easier and I can cover more space with my pencil that way. color to my cone now yeah we'll add some shading and stuff later but this is just our basic cone all right now for the ice cream part um, you can pick what flavors you like in my example I actually created uh, like a raspberry or strawberry flavored and then a mint chocolate chip those are yummy so I think for today I might do something a little different I think I'm going to create a um, mint chocolate chip on my first layer. So let me sharpen. You want to get a light green um, colored pencil first and just color the whole thing in light green. Because we're just putting our first layer of color down. And I always try to color in one direction. I don't go back and then up and down and then back and forth. I always try to keep it one direction and that way it's going to look a lot nicer than if you're coloring in all different directions. And I'm kind of using some small circles just because my ice cream is rounded shape and it's going to continue to give it that rounded shape look. I'm using small circles to color that in. All right, so I got my first layer of green in there. So now I'm going to take a little bit darker green. Uh, I need to sharpen it. A little bit darker green, and I'm going to start by, um, when we're creating uh, the ice cream, there's Depending on where our light is shining on our picture, the opposite side of where the light is shining is going to have some shadow. Um, and so there'll be some shadow. Um, I'm going to pretend my light is coming from this direction. So I'm going to create my shadows on this side of my cone. So I'm going to go ahead and just start coloring in a little bit over the top of this lighter green with my a little bit darker green. And I'm not pushing very hard. Just a lighter enough to see it without being really dark because we want to layer our colored pencils the harder you push on your colored pencils the darker your color is going to come out and then the lighter you push the lighter it'll show up and so what I like to do is I like to push harder and then get lighter and lighter and lighter and that kind of helps blend it and you won't get a lot of lines now on my drips, I've got some dark on, on the same side of each drip. So I'm just going to color a little bit uh, on the, each side of the drip. 
to make them look like they're actually big, big sides of my ice cream drips a little bit. And then underneath where the top ice cream is, is, it's creating a shadow on the bottom ice cream scoop. So I'm going to create just a little bit of darkness, just a little heavy there, just to create kind of that shadow. And now I might color real lightly over the rest of the ice cream, just real lightly, just to kind of blend that in a little bit, just real lightly. And I'm not going to on this side because what I'm going to do is I will take my eraser and I'll actually erase some of my colored pencils to give a little bit of lightness to where the light is probably hitting my ice cream. Look right on the tops of those scoops. There, and then along there a little bit. You want to just erase a little bit. You don't have to erase all the green, just you're lightening it up is what you're doing. And so now it looks, now you've got some where your ice cream doesn't look flat and it looks more rounded. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one more dark green, a little bit darker. I have several greens. If you only have a couple greens, you could also use a little bit of a dark brown here or maybe a, um, even a dark red would be okay to do here. I'm just going to use my green because I have several shades of green to shade a little bit. Just give it a little more darkness on this side where the shadow of my would be. And a little bit less than I did the other green, just a little bit less. And I don't want to cover the whole thing, just a little bit on this side here. Now what I'm going to do is take a dark brown and create my yummy chocolate chips. So I'm just going to create little, and I'm pushing pretty hard and I'm just creating some random chocolate chips all throughout my ice cream here. The best part of the mint chocolate chip are the chips. Chocolate. There we go. All right. So now we want to create our top scoop of ice cream. And so we're going to, hmm, I think I might do vanilla this time. So for vanilla ice cream, I'm going to use yellows and browns to create my vanilla. So I'm going to just start out by filling it in with my lightest yellow and I'm just going to color real lightly over the whole thing. So I don't want a really strong bright yellow, I want a gentle yellow. So I'm just gently coloring in my whole ice cream. I'm going the same direction that I did with my bottom scoop. I like this. Yellow and green looks really yummy. So you feel free to make whatever color of ice cream you would like to make. Whatever your favorite is. I do like some good vanilla ice cream. Because you can add things to it. We're going to add some sprinkles to this one. Just a few sprinkles. So there I have my base color of yellow and I'm going to take a little bit darker yellow and do the same thing I did on my bottom. Create some shadows on the opposite side of where my sun, my light is hitting. And then underneath my cherry where my cherry is sitting in my ice cream is going to be a little bit of shadow of the cherry. And then remember, you if you start out dark along here, and then you can slowly get lighter and lighter till it kind of blends into the other yellow. So you want to start out dark, and then just um, by pushing harder, and then push lighter and lighter on your pencil. That takes a little bit of practice, so you can practice on a scrap piece of paper. Practice doing that to where you get a nice smooth um, change from dark to light without having any harsh lines. 
And when you accomplish that look, you be ready to do your ice cream. So if you're not comfortable doing this yet, I would practice first. And then I'm going to just barely color throughout my all my ice cream just to blend it in a little bit. Except here on the very edge because I'm going to go ahead and erase just like I did on the bottom. I'm going to erase some of that yellow along the little edges here where they might be sticking out just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to um, maybe take just a really, really light brown and just kind of emphasize my shadows just a little bit by just along the edges real lightly. Real lightly here. get real lightly to fill some of that in. Not a lot, because I don't want to have too much heavy brown there, but see I'm barely touching my pencil to the paper, just getting a little bit of color there. All right, so now I want to add some sprinkles to that. So I'm going to just pick out, I think, red and some blue, maybe an orange, and a green maybe. I'll add some green to add some fun sprinkles to my ice cream. You can add whatever colors you want. I'm just, and I'm just gonna make these, press down and make these little, little lines thick. I'm pressing kind of hard and I'm just making them random shape. Little lines of sprinkles. So now I want to add some blue sprinkles. And some red ones. And then a few green ones. And I'll kind of help blend in my ice creams there. Oh, how fun. There we go, and I've got some sprinkles on my ice cream. Okay, now I just need to do my cherry. So I'm gonna start by just coloring it lightly with red, getting my cherry filled in. But I'm gonna leave a little spot here on the edge that I'm not gonna color in. I'm gonna color around and leave that white. Because that's gonna be where the light is hitting my cherry. And so then I'm gonna take my red and I'm just gonna go press down a little bit on the opposite side of that and underneath where it's sitting on my ice cream. Just giving it a little bit of dark. And then you're gonna blend, and then you're gonna start pushing lighter and lighter until it's all blended. Cause you don't want that harsh line. Okay, and then I'm gonna actually take a really dark red. If you don't have a dark red, you could use a dark green for this. Um, I'm gonna just add a little bit more shadow underneath here. And on that side. There we go. And then I'm going to color my stem in. My stem will be brown. So I'm going to get a little sharp brown stem here. And I'm going to color that in. And then I'm even going to take a touch of black, just some ends away from the light on that stem. And you can add just a touch of black if you need to, to some of the tiny bit, not a lot, just to barely a little bit where you have the darkest shadows. Oh, and we forgot to shadow the cone here too. Now let me grab, I think we'll just use black. I'm not gonna push very hard and we'll just use black. So I don't have a darker brown than this. I almost forgot to add the shadow to the cone. So this side of the cone, because it's away from the light, I'm just gonna create with black lightly. 
I'm not going to push very hard. So I don't want a harsh black there. I'm just going to lightly add some black to the side of my phone here. Just really lightly. And then I'm going to turn my paper sideways a little bit so I can follow the curve of the cone when I'm adding that. A little bit of black there. And a little bit more at the top where my ice cream is. Just a little bit. Now I'm not pushing hard, I'm just pushing lightly on my black. So I just get a little bit. And so now I have a little bit, see that little bit of shadow there? And that just gives some roundness look to my cone, the opposite of where the light would be hitting. There we go. So there you have it, a wonderful, delicious ice cream cone. Uh, I would love to see what flavors you come up with. So if you create an ice cream cone, feel free to send a picture to me or post it below. I would love to see it. But thank you for joining me today for this fun project. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.